Oh my god. Finally. <laughs> let, me, right. let me let me start off by saying uh I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me, uh this was back in uh, this was back when we were this was back in Chicago when the US was getting ready to uh make the Olympic bid. Oh way yeah. back in the day. I yeah. was wearing the same golf cart. You don't remember, I, I even had no, I, I had no idea it was even you until, uh, you know, until you was like, wait, 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 Dominic, oh, okay, Dominic yeah. Luciano. Anyways, thank you for being on. Yeah, happy to be here. How's it going? Uh, it's going good, it's going good. I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit of backlash and I think it's, I think it's important because, uh, you know, a lot of people. You know, I come from I come from a different sport, and obviously, you guys are gymnasts. You know, I come from from wrestling, and then now fighting. But I tend to feel like a lot of this stuff it's 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 somewhat the same because it's all about you know the end goal. What is the end goal? Is winning. But go ahead if you, if you could start off maybe Dominic by just giving me a, a a little rundown exactly what is it that probably happened with Simone Biles and the situation, and uh, if we can kick it off like that. Well, I think one thing you have to understand in gymnastics, like we make things look super easy, but the skills that we're doing are tremendously difficult. We're flying high up in the air, 12 feet, twisting, flipping. Most people have never felt that in their lives. They have no idea what that feels like. And so when you get a case of the twisties coupled with pressures, anxieties, all these different things are going to manifest itself into something that could lead to a dangerous situation. Now, our sport has been plagued with little girls and young women not being able to speak up just as recent as the last Olympic Games in 2016. And the NASA scandal, uh, do you remember that? With the I do. Okay, I do. So, so this is kind of what ties into this situation is that all of the young women and young children were not able to ever speak up and defend themselves for their health when they felt unsafe or when they felt something was wrong. And that led to one of the most prolific pedophiles in gymnastics history to walk through our doors in actually any sport. And that led to this situation. And this is why Simone speaking up for her well-being is critical because it brings up the issue of athlete safety, which has been neglected for so many years, for so long. Now you have a daughter, right? That's coming in November. America. Mm -hmm. And so uh -huh. that's a beautiful name, by the way. Um, you're going to want your daughter to speak up if something is unsafe, if someone is harming her, if there is something <clears throat> that dangerous that she's putting herself in a situation that could potentially be dangerous. You want to empower your daughter to speak up, right? You don't want her to place herself in harm's way willingly when there is another alternative to keep her safe. And that is why Simone speaking up is such a pivotal moment in history in our sport because for so long we were never allowed a voice. Now I'm all like you. I'm all for grit. I'm all for discipline. I'm all for work ethic. I am all for finishing what we start. But you have to remember this, this is a larger issue that's underlying the voice and never okay. having one in the past. Yeah, so so Dominic, let me ask you, let me ask you something. So, do you think that do you think that whole scandal, or obviously, we, I think in the whole world knows the whole thing that happened with Larry Nasser. Do you think that p played a big role going back into the 2021 Olympics? From I don't know for how long he's been, you know, he did what he did with, especially with her. Do you think that's one of the big reasons why she kind of felt the pressure and things of that and things of that nature? You know, I don't want to speak for her on that because that's a very personal topic. It's very, very intimate and it's very personal. So I don't want to speak for her. That's something for her to speak up on. But I can tell you of the history because I've been an advocate for athlete safety for so long. And Henry, people ignored it. Girls were getting molested in our sport. People were getting hurt. There were brutal injuries. We were never allowed to say anything. I collapsed in the gym when I was 14 years old and my coaches grabbed me by my back and you know, go call your parents, maybe your leg's broken. Just disregard for human beings. We were little girls, young women who could never have a voice in our health and well-being. It was always placed last. Now, I'm sure there's a part of that where Simone has that history and trauma that's now playing into this Olympic cycle and saying, look, there's something going on that doesn't feel right. Now, when you feel that, you have to speak up and say, 
you know what? I need to get this handled. There was video that showed you that she was not oriented in the air. She was falling on her back and she showed it on Instagram. So anybody who was doubting that she had an issue, there it is, front and center, you can see it. And I know what that feels like because I deal with athletes all the time that go through mental blocks. And it's a very severe and almost paralyzing fear. Yeah, okay, now, now, now describe the twists for us who don't really know. I, I was watching an interview with Bob Costas and, uh, and Ali, um, and Ali from, yeah, Ali Raisin from, uh, from you know, from, I think it was 2012, yeah, 2012. She's a, she's a gold medalist as well, and she was saying how, you know, gymnastics like the, like how the mind has to be sync with the body. But I always feel like that's that's always been the nature. Like if if your mind is not connected with what you're doing, and I understand like the twists or not. That if you're mentally not right going up in the air, like you could severely hurt yourself. Right. With the sneeze, with the glare of the light, you know, as you're twisting, with not being a hundred percent. I think I think the only thing that uh that that I feel that I see that uh with with Simona, I think it's just the fact that you know, I'm not gonna blame. I'm not. I, I, it's hard for me to blame the media because she's been so successful for so long. You know, it's hard for me to blame. Uh, I blame the media, but even watching the Olympic trials, Dominique. Like, that's all I heard uh, uh, Nasia Lucan and the other announcer. Oh, the GOAT. Oh, my God. Even when she's, even when she's terrible, she's, she's, she's the greatest. Like, it was the greatest, the GOAT, the greatest, the GOAT. Well, that's I think, yeah, right? I, 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 no, no, no. I, I swear to you, but when you hear from an Olympic champion, from somebody that, especially from the sport, I just don't want to confuse, because I've been there before. I'm an athlete, and I have good agents, and I have good managers. They give you certain words were when I first initiated her like mental health, I was like, okay, somebody else told her to say that, you know, where in reality, if I can get my opinion, Dominique, I feel like it was just a little more pressure. And I feel like she put a little too much pressure on herself where she, you, you almost couldn't handle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I get the twist. Like, the... You know, those are two different issues, Henry. The, the pressure coupled with the anxiety she's probably feeling on top of the twisties, that's a recipe right there for a lot of uncertainty, right? In the but wouldn't you, wouldn't that, you, but wouldn't now, you say it starts with the? Wouldn't you say it starts with the mind? It starts with the mind and it ends with the mind. Well, the mind is always a part of the sport, and that's why you have to have a handle on it when you're in competition setting. You're on hard mats. Any wrong, you know, twist or opening in the air can lead to a catastrophic injury that could be jeopardizing or put you in a wheelchair. I mean, that's the severity of it. And so you have to remember that all of it coupled in, it, it, it ended up happening on the grand stage. But you have to also know that she has dealt with this type of issue in practice before. This is not something new. You're just seeing it now on the largest scale of them all, of the global scale of the Olympics. You know how magnified it is, especially in our sport. Every four years, people tune in to watch the women's Olympic Games, right? The women's gymnastics portion, obviously <clears throat> one of the most popular events. And Simone was the it girl for this Olympics. And so to say that she can't handle pressure is not really appropriate because it's yeah. coupled with other things. You know, you're conflating two issues, the goat issue and then the twisties and the anxieties and the pressure. Those are, those are different things. And you can't conflate the two issues because they're two separate issues. Let the fans, let the media talk about the goat we're not really in the discussion of that. We're in the discussion of, had Simone not spoken up for her well-being when for so many years our sport's been plagued with abuses, then she wouldn't be doing herself a service. She was smart enough to say, hey, something went wrong on the first event. I need to step back, let the team do their job. And she was the best cheerleader for them. Did you ever see her not be awesome to her teammates and cheer them on? I mean, she just showed a lot of character by doing that. Now, Team USA had to step up, there's no doubt. But that's what you do in a team setting. You put yourself in a situation where it's the smartest and best decision for safety. And I have, yeah, to, for her. Mm -hmm. I have to commend that. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I do, I'm giving you my perspective as, and I'm gonna give you a quick story to Dominique, because I, I remember this clearly, and I think sometimes, again, whether people want to take it or not, again, man, I'm, I'm, I'm the king of cringe, man. I'm used to getting ridiculed. You know, I'm the guy that throws a softball. It's all right, man. Hit me with the short jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm a good sport. And I just want to let you know that I am a, I am a huge Simone Biles 
fan. Better yet, I watched the Olympic trials, the whole Olympic trials, because of her. But once that whole happened, once that whole situation happened, I just had no desire to watch the Olympics. And I didn't even watch the Olymp I, I didn't even watch. I watched a little bit of Suni Lee win the all around, but I just. I just didn't I just didn't feel good in me. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted this girl knowing that somebody has that ability, Dominique, is so special. And she is a go-to her sport. Well, and she's I, I just it, think you know? I just think I just think that and I, I, I'm, and I'm going to tell you the story real quick because I remember I, I know you lived at, at the Olympic Training Center for a minute in the in, in the 90s, and I remember right before I went to the Olympic to, to the Olympics in 2000 in Beijing, I always wanted to remind myself what is it that I do, what I do with inspiration. And I was a nobody. I mean, I, not that I was a nobody, but I wasn't I wasn't favored to win the Olympics. As a matter of fact, I was ranked 31st in the world. But I remember, do you remember at the Olympic Training Center where they would do tours like all across the different sports, and they would take you there, they would talk about it, and right before they would do the 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 tour, to, you know, for the casuals, you would watch a video. And I remember watching that video. This was this was this was like a few days before I took off the Olympics. And I remember watching that video and saying, like, man, I have lived for this moment for, like, for my whole life. Man. I remember watching, they showed you and the team winning the, uh, winning the Olympic gold. Uh, they showed Michael Johnson, you know, crying after he broke the 200. You know, they, they showed Michael Phelps and the history that he could potentially make it in, in 2008. And uh, I just feel like as a, at, for you as a gymnast, for, for me as a wrestler, for, for, for an Olympian, man, we have worked so hard, so hard, our whole lives to perform for that day. And, and I'll be quite honest with you too, Dominique, even when I competed at the Olympics, I wasn't feeling good. Literally, I had cut so much weight. I had cut 10 pounds in two hours. And it's not that I'm making a comparison, but I'm just saying like the desire within pushed me the desire the the fact that you know the, the inspiration people like you me growing up as a little kid as a nine-year-old boy watching the olympics i just feel like I, I the kids that you know what i'm saying it's just the, the way the situation happened with simone uh, eventually pulling out when she didn't wasn't feeling and team usa was kind of falling behind and she just decided to say like you know what I understand the mental health situation, but I also understand, like, man, it's the Olympics, Dominique. Trust what would the Corollis do? Hold on, but what would the Corollis do back in the day in '96 to you if you were to say something like that? I have to, I have to say this stuff, you know. I just have to because I, ultimately, Dominique, I am a freaking winner, and I'm, a, I'm on a competitor. I'm, a, I'm a UFC fighter, and I'm an Olympic wrestler. Go ahead, let me have it. I get it, but but you know the Corollis are not the gold standard in coaching. I mean. Their methodologies led to this abusive scandal as well, with all of the children not being able to speak up. I competed on a tibial stress fracture. I fell on my head at the Olympic Games, right on my I head. I and I that. stayed on the beam because of grit, and I was terrified of what my coaches were going to do to me, Henry. But we don't want to have little girls and young women compete out of fear of their coaches. That's not the right thing that we're teaching our children. We're teaching them to stand up, have a voice, be respectful and acknowledge when something is not right. That's all. And doing the right thing at the right time. Now, Simone didn't give up. Like, the way you're depicting this is saying, oh, Simone just gave up halfway in the competition on her team and then expected everybody to carry the weight. That's kind of what you're saying. is like, hey, this is the only you push through. If it was something different than this kind of a block, mentally, sure, she could have pushed through. And she did. I mean, she showed it in the balance beam finals. She showed that she came back, she worked through whatever was going on, right? And she got a hold of it. She got a lighter just now on her beam. And she was able to come back at her seventh Olympic medal, more than you and me. And she has way more world and Olympic medals than anybody. So when you combine all that she's done in the sport, she even competed with, you know, passing kidney stones at the last world championship. She's gone through her fair share of adversity is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this oh, is not, oh. you know, this is not about she gave up because I think yeah. that's the, the misconception that maybe your perspective is like, oh, we're grit. We got to tough it out. And I get it as a fighter, as a wrestler, you do that. I have a lot of grit. Trust me, I'm battle tested. I've been, I have my battle wounds. And so I know how this mentality is, but for so long, it's been a dangerous fine line in our sport because it's been coupled with abuse of little girls, physically, emotionally, mentally. And it's led to, you know, so the pendulum had to swing because it led to this whole Larry Nassar abusive scandal with USA Gymnastics and beyond. 
And so the pendulum had to swing a little bit all the way to the other side to try to have a voice now for our athletes and make sure that if something is not right, you are speaking up as you would like your daughter to speak up when it comes to her safety. <laughs> You're going to be a parent. You're going to see. You're going to protect that girl, right? You're going to want her Stop to it. herself. You don't want her to be out there saying, oh my gosh, if I'm going to put myself no. in a situation no. that is dangerous. You don't want that. You of know? course, of course. And I think, I mean, you, you bring up a good point, but I'm going to tell you, I do, I'm an immigrant son. You know, my parent, my, my, both my parents came from, from Mexico. I, I was raised by a single parent, just my mother. And man, my mom, my mom, my mom was always hard on us. You know what I mean? It's the same reason why it kind of made me hard. But at the same time, I understand that, that her teachings were from back in the day, the way she was taught. But I also know that I, I can take a little bit of that teaching that she gave me and sometimes I do feel, and I have to say this, Dominique, sometimes when you're there, like, you just, she, uh, Simone Biles cannot go back to times. Like, it was, again, my whole thing was for her to, to cement herself in the record books, for Team USA to win as a team. Like, you know what I mean? To, to do it, what is it, the fourth time in a row since 2000. Uh, eight or 2004? Well, the last four Olympic cycles, so just keep going. Yeah, to, to, to do that, you know, obviously, and I'm just like, I just feel like all the hype around her, I just, I, I personally, my feelings as a competitor, because we all feel nerves and pressure, mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like that just took a little more place, and, and you know, and, and, and I'm going to say it respectfully here in front of you, because as an Olympic champion, like, at the, at the end of the day, we cannot forget the things that we strive for. Like on this day, I knew that on August 19th of 2000, I've known for four years that that day, doesn't matter if I'm sick, uh, sore, whatever it may be, that I have to perform because I cannot go back to that day. I'm going to tell you another story too, Dominique, because I remember making the Olympic team in 2008 and uh, I, I beat, you probably know him too, by the name of Stephen Abbas, three-time NCAA champion. I ended up beating him to make the Olympic team. He was a returning Olympic silver medalist who had lost to the Russian. And I'll never forget this because I, when I talk about the reality check, is like sometimes people need it, and I needed it that day. I remember, and th this is how my coaching is. I remember winning the Olympic trials, and I remember going up to my coach. We had just beat the Olympic silver medalist. I was in favor to make the team. As a matter of fact, I was ranked 32nd in the world going into the Olympics. And I remember right after the trials going up to my coach and being like, Terry, Terry, we did it. We did it like I won the whole shebanger. Mm -hmm. and you know what Terry Brands did, Dominique? He says, what do you mean we did it? He grabs him by the neck and slaps the crap out of me. And he says, Henry, he says, the Olympic trials, it's only a qualifier for the Olympics. Wake up. Boom. Once again, what I'm saying is that was the best thing somebody could have did to me, Simone. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Dominique, because... It brought me back down to earth that this job still wasn't done. And knowing the fact that I have – the next four years ain't promised for Simone or myself because I tried for the 2012 Olympic team, and I didn't make the team. But I took that opportunity to make the absolute best. And that little, ki and that little kid who was Aspire 96 watching you compete became the youngest Olympic champion in history because I took that risk and I took that chance because I cannot go back to time. So what I'm saying is I hope Simone has a great support system because at times, Dominique, we do need a kick in the arse. And you know that. And I just feel like it was one of the situations like, Simone, you are so good. You are so good. Listen to your ability. This is normal. Yes, you are carrying the Olympic Games. I understand the whole mental stuff that, that people were trying to portray, but I feel like it was just a little more pressure, and sometimes it was a little too much. And the thing that I'm going to go back to, too, is they weren't, she has a, a, a ADHD, right? They weren't, they weren't allowing her to be medicated with the stuff that she was medicated before. So those are things that, but knowing that uh, beforehand, those are things that you have to adjust and prepare for. So this is where I come from, Dominique, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm a big Simone, uh, a big uh, Simone Biles fans. I, I love, I, I love gymnastics. But I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen it since because I just been, my stomach's been a little turned because I wanted her to make uh, history so bad, and it just didn't happen. Well, but she made history, Henry. Already, she doesn't have anything to prove to you or me. You as a fan, just as all of the fans around the globe wanted to see her compete, 
And she came back on the last day to have a, you know, exclamation point. She got her seventh Olympic medal. She has done everything in the sport. This right here, this Olympics is not for you, for me. This was for her to do what she wanted and was capable with. Yeah, but real, real quick, reason. Dominique. Real, real quick, fun. Dominique. Wouldn't that be for the team, though, too? It is for the team, too. But I don't think the team right now is disappointed in her. Because oh, it's I mean, not just the pressure, Henry. Yes, we wanted them to win gold. But Simone could have gone out there and gotten dangerously hurt. You're saying, oh, just push through it. That is an old school mentality where I was raised by immigrants too. I didn't get it handed to me. I got smacked around too. So don't think that I don't know where you come from. I know exactly where you come from, but we're dealing, you are a grown man. We're dealing with young children as for young women who are not allowed to get smacked around, nor do we want that for our children for the next generation. My parents struggled as immigrants too. They taught me right from wrong. They disciplined me the old school way. So I probably was very much raised like you. And I understand that you wanted to see grit and fight and you know don't give up. But this is not just about that. There are skills that are terrifying. You have to wrap your head around the fact that if, if she could have pushed through, she absolutely would have. Do you think she wants to do this in front of the whole world, in front of the Olympic Games? I guarantee you she has no regrets. And so if she has no regrets about how she handled it, then she's very happy with stepping up and saying something that would protect her well-being because she said, no, the mental is not there. I don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize my situation or for the team because she could have gone out there, like you say, and tried to compete the other events and completely crumbled, gotten lost in the air. That wouldn't have been good for anybody. Do you want to see her falling on her head? That's not mm -hmm. beneficial to No, me. no. No, right? not, not, but yeah. that could have happened. Look at her Instagram story. Look at her bar just now. She couldn't oh. even get it on her feet. Of, so of course. They, they, they did a survey. They, they did a survey, Dominique. I'm going to go a little bit to the extreme. And and when I when I talking about like the old schools, like I don't want you to think it's like I don't know, you know what I mean? Like pop, pop. Like no, no, yeah. no. No, I good old heart, some good old heart. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, it's like it. Simone. We've been. This is what we worked for our whole lives through. This isn't like we really got a, a a pep talk, some type of inspiration, or like I said, if we have to, a little kick in the booty. Right. But I don't think that would have helped. She doesn't re respond to that very well. You have to know your athlete. They, whatever, 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 whatever it may be, though, Dominique, what I'm saying is we can't go back to time. At the end of the day, you are right. Because at the end of the day, the only person that really knows what happened and what's going on is ultimately her. Yep. Me and you can both. How many people have, have, have said certain things? On, I'm going to give you an example. How many people have said certain things on media and it's believable and then 20 years from now or 10 years from now it's revealed that we were right or you were right or i was right i'm gonna give you an example marion jones i know i did not do steroids that's the craziest thing i i choose to be a role model for all the little girls like i would never do such a thing boom eight years later hot we got caught hot you know what i'm saying at the end of the day uh simone biles you're right she doesn't have to prove anything to nobody. I just, I just didn't like the situation or what happened how, and what was taking place. I understand, but if you, if you ask a survey with the Olympians and Olympic champions, Olymp they did a survey like I forget how long ago. I remember when I, this was back in two thousand eight that they said, they said if you have an opportunity to win an Olympic gold medal and and uh, and to be able to die within the next four years, would you do it? Again, hypothetically. You know what the majority of the people say is like, dude, I am willing to win an Olympic gold medal and die within the next four years to accomplish my goal and dream. I get it. The thing is, is Simone done some special stuff in gymnastics. I just feel like, I just feel like it, it, it could have, she, she could have pushed the bar so high that, that, that nobody would have ever touched. That's all I wanted to see. The situation, like she knows if, if it's, you know, at the end of the day, she's going to know whether she, she, she's going to have to live with it. If she's okay with it, then I'm cool with it too. <laughs> well, she is. I guarantee you that she doesn't have regrets. And you have to just remember that she's already broken the record. She doesn't have anything to prove. She's already cemented herself as one of the greatest and the most dominant of this era, of this generation. So there is no doubt all her world and Olympic medals are not going to be broken anytime soon. 
And she did it you know, her way in the best way possible. And if she needed a couple of days in between, you know, the team final and then the last event where she could go out and be confident with the skills that she had, then we have to allow people some grace sometimes, Henry, because it's not about what you want or what I want. In the moment it has to be what she wants and what she thinks is best for her. And at that moment, I guarantee you, if she could have pushed through, she absolutely would have. It has no, you know, it's not about, you know, kicking this person and giving them a tech. You know, she has a very close circle. Um, her family is very tight. Her mom is very honest with her. Like, they have great conversations. I know the family. Um, so it's not just about, hey, you need to push yeah. it. It's more, it's more than that. Okay, uh, real quick, Dominique, is there is there anybody? Because a lot of people don't speak up, man. A lot of people are not vocal. Tr Dominique, everybody, a lot, the majority of the people are thinking like me. Is there anybody in the gymnastics world that feels the same way that I'm feeling? Any big names? I don't think anyone. Yeah, you don't have to name them. No, I don't think anybody. Any would speak big names up. that can just be like, I'm sorry. I don't think anybody would speak up or say anything against Simone because that's probably She's not. Not she's too she's she's too respected in the sport. She's respected, and obviously, people will have their perspective and their judgment. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's her career. It's not ours. You know, it's her and, life. And again, it's not and, ours. and again, I'll, I'll give you this, I'll give you this example. It's like uh, Messi goes to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're in the finals. The score is three to three. And they're getting ready to hit it. You know, they're asking Messi, you know, to hit the last go and it's tied up. But then Messi says, nah, man, I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm just not there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, maybe that's a terrible example. But, but, that's, not, <laughs> but that's not the same situation. You're not going to get hurt, like, kicking the goal, you know? Like, yeah, you can get some little things, you know, on the, the soccer field. Like, you can get, obviously, hurt, but not in the way you can in gymnastics, like, really, you know, become um, paralyzed, possibly, because that fear is paralyzing when you're flipping and twisting and you're doing so much in the air on top of the anxieties and other issues going on. Sure, it was just kind of a recipe. Are those, are those risks, Dominique, worth a gold medal? Well, without great risk, there's no great reward, right? Thank you. You know, but you're right. So it's, it's it, and I'm I'm not saying, and I'm not talking about her. It's everything that Simone Biles has done has been extraordinary. I'm not talking about. I'm I'm not debating whether she's a goat or not. I'm just debating that whole situation, just like everybody else's. And as a winner, Dominique, and I want you to really, really just even you mentioned my daughter. When my daughter comes in November. America, America. If I was in that, if if I was her dad in that situation. You know, it, it would be delicate. It'd be like, baby, we waited our whole lives for this. This is what this is what we've trained for. Allow, use that pressure to create diamonds again, whether it was in wrestling, boxing, fighting, whatever it may be. But the, we can we can we can disagree. We can agree to disagree, and, and and that's perfectly fine. But I will say this: that I am a huge Simone Biles fan. I really did. I was just a bit disappointed on the situation on what happened. And I hope she could come back. And uh, did she? I I I stopped watching. I stopped watching uh, gymnastics. Honestly, did she? Did she do the the balance beam? I know that was. Did she yeah. end up winning gold? Did she win gold? Well, I'll have to tune in to the prime time coverage tonight to watch. You should know that by now. Come on, Henry. You should know that. Hey, I got yeah. somebody that wants to say something to you. Yeah, let's do it. I got somebody that wants to say something to you. All righty, let's do it. Triple oh my. Team. It's the victorious Vincent Canales here. Stay tuned. Los Angeles 2028. And follow me on Instagram at Vincent Canales 1. I'm out. <laughs> That's my son. Wow. Where is high. my crown? But do you have any <laughs> of these? <laughs> Dominique, it's been a pleasure, man. That dude is so cool. I'm gonna follow him. Send me his, uh, send me his uh, Instagram handle. But I appreciate this. Just know that from my perspective, again, there is a little bit of old school. 
I am a little, you know, I just wanted her to succeed, man. And sometimes I think people's emotions kind of, you know, I, my emotions uh, do get the best of me, but that's only because I love America and I would love to see her succeed and nothing more, Dominique. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, uh, I'm a vocal person. This is who I am. I'm real to myself, whether people hate it or, or like it. But I just, I, I want to embody the Olympic spirit as much as I can. And uh, that's it, man. If we can somehow push each other, she's able to even see some of my interviews, whether, whether it could help her or not. I don't know if you saw my Instagram post that I did uh, a couple uh, of, uh, on Monday, but uh, you know if she can take anything from that. You know it'll be cool. But even me, I'm I'm, I'm gonna dial in now tonight, as you said, and uh, you know I wish I wish her and I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see her come back and show a dominant performance in the event finals on balance beam. It's her last day. She stamped an exclamation point. You know she's got her medals. She's already in history. She's already etched in history. So there's nothing left to prove but to go out there with a bang and have a good time. And I'm passionate like you. Trust yeah, me, sure. vocal and passionate, and I get it. You know, I want the best for her, just like I want for all of our children in this sport and in this generation and beyond. Yeah, I think my whole thing, I think I'm just greedy. I just love all the <laughs> gold and uh, oh, she's got know, I want her to steal it all. <laughs> She's got him. She's got him. There's no doubt about yeah. that. Yeah. More. More. All of it. All of it. Take all the damn gold. You know, jacket. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, Dominique, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on. You've, uh, you know, you've been a big inspiration. You've, you've been a big inspiration for a lot of people and a lot of girls back in 96. And I believe everybody who's my age can say that. So I just want to say thank you for being on. Thank you for being a good sport. And uh, I hope Triple C somehow cringe you today. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good thanks so much henry best of luck to you and you know i want to see your daughter do some gymnastics all right all right well, <laughs> well we'll see we'll see if she, if she comes if she, if she has my genetics i think she will but i think she'll be more like her mom and her mom is a girly girl uh you know what i mean but if she does have my genes and carries more of my genes she'll she'll be tumbling and uh, all that Awesome, awesome. Well, it's a great foundation for anything she chooses to do. So good luck. I hope you have a safe, you know, um, your wife has a safe delivery and the birth is easy. And congratulations on uh, embarking on a new journey, parenthood. It's going to be a roller coaster of a ride. All right. C can, you imagine, can you imagine me as a dad now? The way I'm... You're going to change. <laughs> You're going to change your too. We'll be talking about the next Olympic cycle. And He's like, see. no, pull her out, pull her yeah, out. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. It'll all change. <laughs> all right, Dominique, we'll see you. Thank, thanks again. I appreciate it. All right, no problem. Take care.